Good evening. My name is Nathan, and I'm here talking about from 656 Sports and Things. It's come out through VLCM today or yesterday that the Newfoundland Growlers, the ECHL team in St. John's, Newfoundland, might have a bit of an issue to start the season. Well, one thing is because of the current global situation with our current situation, combined with the fact that they're one of only two ECHL teams in Canada, the other team being the Beasts, the Brampton Beasts that play in Brampton, Ontario. There's a bit of an issue there because if the border remains closed, there's only two ECHL teams that play in Canada, well, what are you going to do? And Newfoundland has the other hurdle of being located on Atlantic Canada, and right now you have to quarantine for 14 days before you leave Atlantic Canada. You can travel to Halifax, PEI, to Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI. And Newfoundland, you can travel within those four provinces, but you can't, to leave the provinces, you have to quarantine for 14 days. Now, the simple solution would be simply to put all the, you know, take the two teams, put them in the States, put them for, uh, temporary lodging, and just play all your games in the States, or, you know, play all your games up until, say, January or February in the States, and then come home and play your home games there. But we don't know what situation the world's going to be in come February. There is another issue of, well, since the league right above the Growlers and the Beast are the Toronto Marlies, Toronto Marlies is separate below the Leafs and the Belleville Senators, both playing in the AHL with the same issue if an NHL team is playing in, say, or an AHL team is, say, playing in San Diego, and they call someone up from Belleville or Brampton, do they have to take 14 days before you get into San Diego to play your next game? That's a huge issue. This also affects teams in the AHL. Because the AHL Canadians teams, there's four. There's the Marlies, Laval, Sean Marlies, Laval Rocket, Belleville Centers, Manitoba Moose. But what would happen if the Winnipeg Jets call someone up from the Moose and they're in Anaheim? for a game when they're going through California. Does that player have to quarantine for 14 days? Because if you need someone right now, let's say a player gets injured, let's say Patrick Lightning gets injured, and you call it up for the Moose, the Moose were playing, hypothetically, let's say the Moose were playing Lavelle the night before last, does that player then have to quarantine for 14 days before crossing the border? Or vice versa? What are the AHL going to do next season? Are they going to have all the teams play in the state, so what happens then? What happens if there's no NHL season next year? Do you take the AHL and ECHL? It's mostly a gate-driven league. Do they take a year off as well? But what happens to developing players? Then you can't play. If you're trying to develop players in the AHL or the ECHL, do you then, where do you put those players? Do you bring them on an NHL squad? Do a taxi squad? Do you just, instead of having, say, 10 players on, the reserve quad, you have 20, and they travel with you. They travel around with you to get that extra bit of development, and you play like, instead of playing a Marley's game, you play at least two game against another team. Does that happen? Uh, what happens then? How, what happens if you can't cross the border? Now, the easy thing would be to say is take a year off. But the ECHL is two rungs right below the NHL, where the AHL is one. How do you take a whole year off? How do you develop players then? That's a huge issue. And this also affects teams within Canada, which has ECH, ECHL and AHL affiliates in the States. The best example for this would be the Alberta teams, or even Vancouver, anything west of Winnipeg, really. Uh, Vancouver's farm team being in Utica. So what happens if the Canucks call someone up from Utica? Do they have to quarantine for 14 days leaving the States? And then how hard does it call someone up if they have to quarantine for 14 days? You need them today because your, your player got hurt. You need them today. So what happens then? Uh, I'm assuming this will be dealt with. Hopefully this situation will be out, out of the way in February and start carrying things in February. However, if it's not, what happens then? I'm just talking here because I'd like to know your comments about this issue. 
Uh, if you're just new to 656 Sports and Things, make sure to hit that thumbs up button giving us a like giving us a subscribe. You can share this video like you tell your kids to share their Halloween candy with you. We, you and I both know you steal your kids' Halloween candy. I won't tell anyone. And, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And if you think it will work, what would happen? Uh, even the W. The W has a problem because there's a whole division in the W that plays in the States. And if you can't cross the border, how hard is it? Uh, you all have a great day. Thank you for checking out the channel, and goodbye.